know everybody. A lot of people wanted me to talk about Doki Doki. Uh, about BBC talking about Doki Doki. But listen, I've been looking at that. I'm been looking at Monk Common and yo. He's like me. I'm just. At this point, we're just all just. We're all just feeling that fatigue. Because, you know. Because, like usual. Because when I was a kid, every fucking time there was a tragedy, or someone killing themselves, or something happening in the world, they would always blame it on video games, regardless of what it was, you know? And that's why, you know, that's why I got mad at Mr. McIntosh, because, because even though it, even though it's 2018, it feels like, it feels like I were back in the 90s and early 2000s, back when Jack Thompson was still around. Because, again, we just got a bunch of people bitching and moaning about games that, that, that one, that one isn't going to affect their kid if they're not, if they just tell again, oh, it's not for you, you know? The thing about Doki Doki is this. It warns you up front, up front, it warns you up front that this game is not for people that are easily disturbed. Because, you know, Doki Doki goes to some very, very dark places. And really, like, the ending is so fucking bittersweet. Because not only it, Because not only... Uh, you spend some time with Monica really learning how she is. You probably... Some of you, some people have formed attachments to her. Here you go, whether... Here you go, whether just Monica Mod got made. Or the Monica After Story Mod got made. You know, but for some, it's a bloody nightmare. It's like, hold, hold on, un momento, my por favor. But you know, really, I could talk about, I could talk about how it's really the parents, it's really the parents that should be watching their kid if they're mentally unwell, to the point where they should be watching their kids and not blaming so Dan Silvano and his team, because it's not their fault. You know, they did their warning, they did what they had to do, but you know, the BBC guys like it lures in children. Uh, <laughs> oh, it does it now. Does it now? Lady, which, like, like the people, like, the one, like, news reporter who said this, I'm like, it lures in children, does it? Um, what little kids do you know watching a lot, watching shit tons of anime like, uh, you know, like some of us have talked to do, you know, like, who does, like, what little kid does that? And if, like, seriously, someone show me in the comments, I will fucking retract what I just said. But honestly, it's not trying to attract the kids. It's trying to attract the young adults who would basically play Doki, who would basically play in any visual novel. Visual novels, for all you, for all you normies out there, uh, visual novels are like, what happens when you put a game, yeah, put a game that's like, all story in your, in your reading, and a visual novel is basically just like something you read with visuals and various other things. Sometimes they'll have good endings that are really good, and sometimes they'll have bad endings that'll make you go, "What the fuck did? What the fuck? What the fuck did I just play?" And the thing is, the thing is, Doki Doki has nothing but "What the fuck did I just play?" You know. But it's mostly for the it's mostly for the teens and the young adults who play these things. But again, 
Like every other vi like every other person in the news, y'all don't do your goddamn homework. Oh my god, that is so surprising that a bunch that a, that a news network couldn't do their homework or be bothered. They at least do some research. Man, I'm a fucking small ass YouTuber, and all it would all it takes for me is just find the information I'm looking for, either Google or various other places that are reputable. But no, 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 no. You guys don't do any of that shit. See, I'm just tired of the of just just news outlets in general using every game, using all games as a scapegoat. Because it's not their fault that you're that that there's that there's mass shootings everywhere. It's not the game's fault that your kid committed suicide. The blame is squarely on you, the parents. And I say this because you're supposed to be watching out watching out for your kids. You decided to have them. You decided to bring them into this world. You decided to you decided to bone your significant other or girlfriend or whatever. It falls to you. You are responsible. It does like it doesn't matter. But using a game as a scapegoat is dirty and low and kind of fucks with their memory of the kid of the kids that died. Like seriously. Like seriously, this kid probably had problems and none of you decided to go and see what was wrong with them. You didn't see what was, some of you, I bet you guys didn't even see what was wrong with them until it was too late. It sucks, because I have a friend that deals with depression on a daily basis. I, I wish, I wish I could take, I wish I could take his depression away from him. I wish, I wish the dude when I wish the dude could be happy and not always feel so depressed every, you know, and I always feel so depressed, but I can't. All I can do is be there for him. Because that's what I can do. I swore that if I ever had a friend with depression, I would be there for him, regardless. And it's the same with you parents. See, me and my friend know each other a bit, but you're like, you, like someone was this boy's parents, their their son, and y'all. It feels like again, y'all want to blame the game for what your son did. But y'all don't blame yourselves for trying to actually probably be there for your kid. You know? I know y'all are content with your little jobs and whatever. And I don't really know what I don't really know what's what. But I know if you if if if, if more parents were intended with their child, there'd be no suicide there'd be no kids committing suicide. There'd be no kids trying to trying to shoot other kids. In schools, it's not about the guns. It's not about the video games. It's all on you as parents. And I'm just sick. I'm sick and tired of every time you... Any, any, if anything happens, oh, it's always the new game's fault. It's the game's fault. It's the game's fault that my kid did this. Put the blame squarely, squarely on yourselves. That's that kind of shit that I really get angry about. Like, oh, it's the game's fault. And, you know, and BBC, <laughs> you're just like CNN. Y'all don't do your research. Y'all don't do any kind of homework. Y'all don't Y'all don't even try. It's just you guys going, this game's the blame. And it lures little kids. Y'all don't know shit about any of this shit. But you guys don't rather get, you guys don't get an expert or anything. Or a person who knows or gets through this kind of stuff, you kind of did in, you know, but someone that's a little bit more in touch with these kinds of things. None of you do. Yeah, like, again, you're about as, about, most of these news outlets are about as incompetent as IGN. If not more so. So, once again, Thank you, BBC, for making me for making me once again just looking at the rest of the human race, shaking my head, 
and moving on with my, and moving on with my life and many things that I'm doing right now because once again you proved to me that if aliens did come we would be so fucked we'd be so fucked on so many, on so many different levels or we'd be are we are like yeah if we were fighting aliens we'd all be fucked because none of y'all because like I'm telling you none of you all you motherfuckers don't know how to listen or at least. I don't know, research or anything, or do anything, you know, that's why I feel like, the, I feel like humanity is gonna, if we ever get attacked by aliens, we're all fucked. <sighs> but that's my take on everything. And you know, I, yeah, and I know if Donald Trump, and Donald Trump has something to say, he would blame it too. Because, you know, when you're an orange puppet, you know, you just, when you're an orange puppet, uh, you don't really, you don't really have a mind of your own, so, there you go. People wanted me to slam Trump, so, there you go, kids! Now, if you excuse old Uncle Basher, I gotta, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna go back in my room, shake my head, and work on the next video, eh? While the rest, while the rest of, uh, while BBC uh, acts like a bunch of incompetent dick bags, well, most news outlets act like incompetent dick bags. And listen, this listen to me, news outlets. This is not a threat. This is not me attacking you for for anything. Like I'm actually gonna do it or do anything to you. I just think it just proves that not only BBC but a lot but a lot of news outlets I've seen have shown their incompetence, and no one, like, only a few of us call them out on their bullshit. So, you know what? I'm done. I'm Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. No name. The chaotic, the chaotic gesture, the chaotic mind behind this channel. And I'll see you all later. Also, folks, if, folks, I know I ended up, I know we're kind of ending on a serious note, but tomorrow I have some uh, information on a certain character, the Gorillas, that is now a part of the band. So I'm going to explain, I'm going to explain that the best I can. So uh, because let's just say I got it from the source, but I won't say, but I won't say anything else other than that. I'll see you all later. Bye, folks. Uh, I'm not saying don't listen to the news, but when they start doing shit like this, when they start when they start having people blame video games for this shit, don't listen to them. Like this is the only time you shouldn't really listen to the news, because that you know, because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, kids of the kids of today. If you have any sort of a problem, anything at all, talk to your parents about it. Because they're the only ones that, you know, talk to somebody about it at least. You know? If you got problems, talk to somebody. Because we, because, let's just say, we got plenty, there was plenty of death. There was plenty of death. There was plenty of death last year. But if we can just hopefully limit it, limit, or at least stop the, you know, of kids kill, kill themselves, please talk to somebody before it gets to, before it goes too far, before it escalates into something you can't really control, talk to, some, talk to somebody, please. I'm not, and I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. As a YouTube personality, I am talking to you as a person who has seen who has seen a fair share of his friends go down before it was even their time. Who has seen a fair share of their of his friends deal with depression. You know the thing about the. You know, I'll say this one thing. That's the one thing about Nicole I'll never get. 
pushing people's buttons for freaking views. Thank you, Dr. Brad. Yeah. I want to say this. For a Ditsy Boy. I know. Well, you know, Ditsy Boys, you shouldn't really listen to them unless they act. Unless they're one, they actually have a good head on their shoulders, and I'll uh, just end it at that. So yeah, I just, but really, just honestly, I just wanted to slam Nicole Arbor for that whole depression thing thing. I mean, that depression video. But all I'm saying, kids, talk to somebody. Heck, heck, talk to a friend. Talk to a friend, a family member, somebody. Because I, because I wish, because the one thing I wish is for, is for, is for kids, for kids and young kids and teens not in, you know, ending their lives needlessly because of depression. If we can stop it, if we can stop it, or at least prevent it, if I can at least prevent you all to end from ending yourselves in any way. I know I did good. I know I did good on a promise I made to somebody on that. So, yeah. And you know what? I want to say one last thing. Any mother, any person that blames video games for any tragedy. Oh, I'll do enough. I'll do a video on you. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Old Uncle Basher will do a video on you. And I mean, Fan Brad Basher, not Basherverse. Which is technically me. So, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, once again, I've lost my faith. I've lost a little bit of my faith in, in the in various news outlets, like usual. Not my fave in humanity, because that's never really gonna go. It may... It may leave me for a minute. But it's never really gonna leave me, leave me. Like I always say. People... People don't know, but... People don't know the true extent of how I... How much I actually care about people. <laughs> but hey, that's just me. See you guys later. Remember, kids, use your heads. Look out for each other. And people, don't listen to these news outlets when they blame video games for every little tragedy. Because they don't know, they don't know about what these kids, they don't know about what these kids are going through, what's going through their heads, nothing. What led to this point, nothing. So, I humbly ask you to always, always use your heads. That's all I'm saying.